<laughs> Yo, what is up guys? It is your boy King Cali 760 and yes, we are back at it again with another video for you guys today. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about 5 tips to more V2 rockets. Yes, I said it. 5 tips to more V2 rockets. Let's dive in the video. All right guys, step 1 is understanding your class setup. So we're going to go over to the soldier and we're going to look at one of my class setups. All right. One of the very few that I have. All right. I call this one beast mode. And, and, and honestly, ladies and gentlemen, it is beast mode. So I run infantry on this class. I run not Blitzkrieg. I just been wanting to test this out. I typically run gunslinger because again, like I said, I am a run and gunner. I don't like to camp. So while, while running, sprinting, and diving, you can fire a gun. How awesome is that? Or I run hustle, which is I can reload faster and sprint at the same time, which helps out with when you're running and gunning. And most importantly, I also run forage. When you are running and gunning, sometimes you don't have time to pick up a different weapon. So when you kill your, your opponents, it drops a resupply bag, which you can resupply your bullets over time. So that don't you don't have to worry about looking for a weapon when it comes to that time crunch when you're on your last five kills or whatever it is. Okay, so we're gonna click forage. I always change my pistol to the totalizer. Obviously, if you have it, doesn't matter what the attachments are. Just go ahead and put them if you have that. But it, this is where we get down to the nitty gritty. All right, understanding what perks to use with your primary weapon, which is the go-to that I have. I am always gonna run quick draw. If you're running in gunny, you want to be able to put out your gun quicker than your opponent to have that first reaction time. Extended Max is also going to help you because you don't have to reload your weapon every single time you physically shoot an opponent. Now with the Extended Mags, you can get about four or five uh, opponents with one single clip. It's insane. And then also I use Rapid Fire as well to assist with the quick draw um, reaction and then advanced rifling just because I can get the long shots over time if I do want to push um, some of the opponents that are not actually physically shooting at me or whatever it is. So this is one of my class setups that I physically use. I probably dropped maybe 20 plus V2s with this class setup. Now it can be with any AR if you like, but the class setup itself is beast, okay? So that is step one. All right guys, we're gonna talk about step Two. Step two is understanding the maps. Now, by understanding the maps, gives you a better chance at a better KDR, maybe a better chance to run your score streaks, right? Get those score streaks that you want. Um, maybe get a high kill streak, whatever you like. And maybe even get a chance for the VT rocket that you're unexpectedly going for. Sometimes a lot of people try to go for it and it's very difficult for them to get it. But if you unexpectedly don't even think about going for it, sometimes you actually get on those streaks and you're like, oh wait, I'm on a 10 or a 15, I, I should go for my VT rocket. So we're gonna use a, a map as an example and we're gonna use Ardenus Forest. Ardenus Forest is my favorite map, uh, one of my favorite maps on Call of Duty World War II. Um, I've dropped plenty of VT rockets with that. With that being said, Understanding the map for me is I play outskirts of the maps, which especially Arnus Forest, okay? And not just Arnus Forest, every other map as well. But by playing outskirts of the map gives you a better chance to understand where the opponents are going to come from, but also gives you a better chance to actually go on your, your kill streaks, your score streaks, and also hopefully that V2 rocket that you're looking for. So we're going to segue into the spawns, okay? Understanding the spawns is step three. Now I'm gonna drop in the description below a guide of all spawns for every map in Call of Duty World War II. All right, so with Ardenus Forest, there is four spawn points, two on each side of the map. Now by you understanding these spawns, either you by playing by yourself or with a team or a squad, you can have total control and domination of the map if you have both spawns locked down on either side of the spawn of the map, which is insane. I've done this numerous times. I've also done this numerous times to drop a VT rocket, which is great. So in the video that we're showing as we're speaking about this, just play close attention of me playing the outskirts of the maps. Yes, there's probably a few times I go through the middle, get a few kills because maybe the radar has popped up and showed a guy there, but just play close attention of me playing the left side of the map which is the bunker and the cabin side of Ardenus Forest. All right? 
So now we're going to segue into step four. And step four is when to push and when not to push. Now this is kind of sometimes very hard and very difficult and it's not easy. And I say this why? Because by doing this, you're like, oh, I don't want to lose my streak or I don't want to die off my V2 rocket or, you know, whatever it is. But if you understand the map and the spawns, then it, it kind of tells you in your mind when you can kind of push and when you're not pushing. Okay. If you get a few kills on the left side or the right side of the outskirts of the maps, all right, then you push back a little bit and wait for maybe a few to spawn and kind of move out a little bit. All right. And if you don't see anybody coming from that side that you're on, then you push back up a little bit and kind of see what's going on with either side of the spawn or what side of the map that you're on. Now, keep in mind, you want to have a team because if they can run recon or counter for you, it's going to give you a better chance to run um, that V2, um, that streak that you want to go for, because you can hopefully use their assistance by just getting UAVs to see where the opponents are going to be on the map. So that will also tell you when to push or not push if an enemy is going to come towards you. Now, by saying that, that also, that also basically, you know, helps you kind of gets that V2 rocket a little easier and pushes you to the limits a little bit so if you know when the guy's going to come to you when it's not going to be you know and understanding who who and what enemy and what gun they are running if they're running sniper ars smg shotguns or lmgs you basically want to stay away from those enemies okay especially if they're running a sniper or shotgun because you know that they're going to kill you automatically regardless because our shotgun and snipers are overpowered in the game however guys so understanding when to push and when not to push, okay? So by doing that, I think you can get a better chance. So, All right, guys, step five is controller settings and sensitivity. My button layout that I run is tactical, all right? Only difference here, melee was my R3, now became my circle button, all right? My crouch used to be my circle button, now becomes my R3, all right? I have total control of the controller without taking my thumb off R3 by diving, crouching, and prone, and aiming at the same time, which gives you better gameplay and also a better gunfight with an opponent that you're coming against. Now, let's check out our sensitivity. My sensitivity, I run as a 10-10. A lot of ladies and gentlemen ask me, why do you run a high sensitivity? Well, with the high sensitivity, you're able to turn on people a lot easier, and you have more of a mo mobility turning left and right and you don't feel a handcuff when you're playing on like a five and a four with most people actually run because it gives you better control with I guess aiming down the sights um, and, and shooting long range what have you um, yes it'll help you out what have you but uh, I prefer running 1010 if you guys want to try it comment below let me know what you guys think of the 1010 sensitivity if that suits you also comment below Tell me what you guys think of the video and what other videos you guys want to see by the king. With that being said, and with further ado, I appreciate you guys coming to the channel. Leave a like if you guys are new. Subscribe to the channel for some more daily content.